Well, that was a fun night in that, you know, when you got 29 assists and seven turnovers and everybody involved, again, you know, our offensive efficiency has been our hallmark and sharing the ball, and, and that was really what did it. And I was so pleased when we subbed young guys. They play the same way and play very maturely. But, uh, um, you know, good. Uh, I think it's a good start for us. I think they're pretty good. Uh, I, I was a little concerned about this one, given some guys were hurt. But I thought our veterans kind of set the tone. And every young guy we put in the game uh, looked like he'd been there before and contributed. What's Cam's situation? We're going to think about a five-year program for him. Um, haven't made a final decision yet. Obviously, you couldn't play him tonight if you're going to do that since he's his second year. Um, we may not have a decision this week, but I think it's something we want to talk about with him and his family and think about it. Maybe the best thing for him in the long run, you know, to get older, get stronger academically, all of the above. Those are the usually the points. You know, Tim Abramitis did it in his second year. You don't always have to redshirt as a freshman. And um, uh, so it's it's kind of an ongoing discussion. Probably maybe we'll know something, make a final decision next week. When did this really – Gain steam as far as hey that that could be. I thought Eric Atkins game. was really good too, didn't you? I I'm really thought. Talk. I, I, we'll I mean, what that do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, when, when did no, you um, we we actually talked about it a little bit in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, given it was a big summer for him, and he and he delivered. And um, as a staff, we've always kind of mentioned it a little. Um, but you know, I've never done it. I have never done it. Um, Unless, you know, we've never forced it on a guy. Guy's got to want to do it. And mm -hmm. and so, uh, actually, he brought it up to me in a meeting um, over the weekend. He said, Coach, I've been thinking about it. My family and I have been talking about it. You know, what do you think? And I kind of went through things with him. And, you know, you get, into the, the, you get into the balancing point of what's best for the kid, what's best for our team, you know. And uh, so, I think that's what we've got to kind of figure out. Um, we got a lot of guys on the perimeter who can play, though. What was the biggest thing you wanted to accomplish tonight? You know, playing how we played in practice, you know, sharing the ball, moving it, being efficient. And um, I was nervous for our young guys because they were the only subs we had. Were they going to be able to come in and, and, and kind of play how we played? And, yeah, the one thing about those young guys, they played a lot together. Uh, against the older veteran perimeter. So uh, they gave us a great lift. I was very impressed with Austin Burgett. He has played tonight how he's practiced. He gives us that stretch four man that we, we really don't have in the program. Zach and Tom are different. Uh, but I thought it was a great night for him to get more confident and a good night for Sherm. You know, Sherm, Sherm's got to be like a really rock solid guy for us. And, and I think he can do that. Why can't he have a great senior year? like many of the guys in our program. Guys have great senior years here. Why can't he be one of them? You were concerned in the preseason about how you'd be able to rebound, and obviously you're missing some, some pieces there, but a second chance points, they beat, you, they beat you on the boards. I mean, have you, have any of those concerns been allayed during the preseason? I still think it's a concern for us. Um, you know, I, I still think it is. You know, I think we couldn't get our hands on enough of them tonight in one-and-done situations. So it put a lot of pressure on your offense. Fortunately, you know, we were able to be efficient. But um, there are times, you know, with those other guys, we can be bigger too. The guys that are hurt, Zach and Tom, and, and you're a little bit bigger. But uh, Pat helping us rebound, Jaron getting down there. I, th I think that's going to be a thing we have to um, really emphasize and, and look at. And what do we play defensively to help us rebound, too, sometimes when we're really extended? I'll tell you the one thing you saw tonight, the new rule. I mean, it, they're calling it close, and they call it on both ends. The games are longer. I like the rule. I think it's better for us because we're a smart team. We're a smart program. I think we can play defense. And, and keep our hands off for the most part. I think one of the things that kind of gave us breathing room is we got to the bonus quick. You know, we got to the bonus quick, and the foul line was a weapon for us. But um, it, it's still an adjustment period for our guys. You know, both teams were kind of looking like, God, that was just a little hand. Yeah, well, that's, you know, there's, there's these absolutes, and I think they're a good thing. When, when you look at the stat sheet, it says 29 assists, 
and seven turnovers. Is, is that when you know that, okay, things are in order? You know, I think, you know, that's where you know, I mean, that's how we play. I mean, I don't know if you, it's ESPN had a thing today, five great, op, five best offenses. They're, they're on ESPN.com, and, they, and they, we were fifth, and, and uh, they talked about our efficiency and points per possession the last seven years. And, uh, and I, I showed that article with the four other ones, I think it was Florida, Duke, Kentucky, Michigan, us. Um, just to kind of, again, remind our guys of, you know, the, the, the hallmark here has been we take good care of that thing, we share it, we don't turn it over, we know what a good shot is. Now we have a lot of shot makers out there, and our young guys are shot makers. You know, uh, you know again, Steve's two shots, were those were big buckets for us coming off the bench. You like the new rule. But do you take a wait and see approach to it? Because it seems like you've been down this road before, where they're going to point well, of emphasis. They're going to. They're going to. Tom, I feel it's a great question. I feel better. It's not a point of emphasis anymore. It's an absolute, and you could see how disciplined those guys were. They're calling it, and they're not even flinching. And um, you know, and and the players have to adjust. So I, I think it has to stay intact because it's it's more of a mandate than a point of emphasis this year. Um, but it's here to stay. Now, you know, it's a little bit of a catch-22. We talk about wanting to pressure the ball and contest more with our athletic ability, but I don't want to foul. And, you know, tonight we're pretty good in our zone, and we got we probably got more turn we got more turnovers in our zone, deflections and runouts, than we did in our man. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on, you know, as, as this thing goes forward. You know, who are we going to be defensively? Right. Safe to say that with all the guys sitting on the bench in street post. You had a couple lineups there in the first half, and you probably haven't had a lot of time in them. No, they haven't. And that's what I felt good about, Tom. You know, guys playing together and still they're not turning the ball over, still getting a pretty good shot. Um, again, we'll get Tom back in practice Wednesday. I feel he'll be able to play. Zach will be back in practice Saturday. So, you know, we're getting the big bodies back, which is important. And then, again, we'll, we'll, we'll take a – a wait and see and keep analyzing the cam situation and I think we've come up with something by early next week. So the cam situation, getting back to that, I mean that's an indication that your freshman guards are definitely in the mix? The yeah, yeah, there, well there's, there's, I, mean, obviously, I don't think you can even, I don't think you could even consider from, from what's best for our team unless your freshman guards were, have been really impressive and consistent and solid and all three of them have been. So, you know, if that wasn't the case, I think the discussion would have ended Saturday in my office like we, we can't do it. And, and, uh, but um, we may be able to do it because we have some depth there. And uh, what's best for the kid? Like Tim Abramitis, it was still best for him in the second year because he was still young and figuring it out. And uh, it may be best for him. To clarify how that started, you guys have talked about it in the loose terms, but then Cam brought it to you, and that made yeah. it concrete. Yeah, we very loose terms as a staff. We talked about privately at times, like, you know, maybe he, maybe we just just redshirt him, you know, and and get him older and stronger, you know, and and uh, never really hit him directly with it. Um, but he came into my office and said, "Coach, my family and I have been talking. What do you think about this?" And I said. I have an open mind. I said, it's not like it's not coming out of left field. We've talked about that. Here are some things here. You know, here's what it entails. Thanks, guys. See you Friday.